When you think college course, you probably don't think about skiing powder and ski touring in the backcountry. But that's what makes the NVU Outdoor Ed program so unique. We weren't just gonna learn about avalanches and ski touring in a textbook. We were gonna go out into the field and we were gonna get real experience with it. In January, we traveled to Idaho for our winter expedition and area level two course. Like all expeditions, planning started long before we left the trailhead. All right, we are doing our packing round for Idaho and we have about four hours to sleep before this trip begins. Oh, not looking forward to that alarm, but it's gonna be a fun trip. Um, everyone have a wool fleece winter hat? Yes. Yep. Yep. A hat with a brim? Yep. yep. I do not have a hat with a brim. Which list cool is this? It. I mean, just your personal preference, yeah. really. Oh, yeah, I had the list from the email and it had no articles of yeah. clothing on it, so I'm free balling it on the clothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course. Anyone need Ben to bring anything? Think on that for like 10, 15 seconds. Does anyone need Ben to bring anything? I think we can also sit in. See if we can grab a basket. After doing a thorough gear check, we repacked all the bags and brought them out to the backyard scale to make sure that they were all under 50 pounds so they could get on the plane without extra charge. Then we loaded them into the car and set our alarm for a heinous 2.30 wake up. We have another car. We don't have to do that. That's just dangerous. What is? I don't know what I'm talking about. No, dude, Alright, it's three something or other in the morning, and we're finally at the airport. Dude, it's crazy. You stoked or what? Dude, I'm, I have stoke spewing out of every dude, stoke. Stoke fuel. doesn't even begin to describe it. There's, you gotta like multiply stoke to like 25th square power, add that to like 42, plus the mass of the rotation and like force of the sun, and then you have like an equation that you can't even comprehend. Did you dude, remember to carry the one? No. Shit! We had a wicked tight connection earlier and we are going to find out if our bags made it here or not. Well, we don't have bags. Alright, we are about to go do our food shop and there's freaking skiing right by the grocery store. But we are not skiing today. T today we need to sort probably about 700 pounds of food for 14 people over 10 days. So, wish us luck. We're gonna go figure that out. Here, I think I literally saw it. Feta cheese. This is what about 10 pounds of cheese looks like. Okay, how, what's the serving size on the back? Five ounces. Wait, green, green. how many? Green, so green. the serving yep. size is. Yep. So that's five servings per container, 28 <laughs> grams. And that's five times 28. So that's. We need nine of those. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh yeah. my god. It's only a light 14 pounds of wheat thins. Um, we <laughs> each we each get one steak per one person. Steak Sorry, oh. <laughs> You're good. Oh yeah, my god. Like, hello. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, full belly. Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Cam, would you say you're raising hell? Oh. Complete. That was the plan. Yep. Let's go. Two in, four in, one in, two in, five. Three equals 56, oh, oh six, 48. Heartbreaker for Max Star. Oh, here in Sun Valley, Idaho. We're at the mountains, we're at trees, we're at the birds, we're at the blue skies. We don't fucking need anything else. <laughs> Throw it through, throw it through. Ah! I gotta hold my 
What are we gonna? Uh, I just want to be able to eat them. I don't know about like these. I'm like, these are packed for our cardboard. Put styrofoam in here. Is that not good? I'll leave recycled styrofoam. Well, good news. We have our bags. Are all the bags? All the bags here? Look at that. After packing 100 pounds of food and getting our bags, we decided we needed to celebrate with a good burger for our last meal in the front country. It's Boston and make him... <laughs> not gonna say that. It's Boston. I really like the way that it makes my stomach and brain feel because it's food for thought. I love that. And it makes me a stick. I knew I was gonna get something good out of him. With all the preparation and travel done, it was time to enter the back country. Yeah, how we feeling, guys? Feeling good, Ryan. Getting ready to fire it up, head into the back country. All right, off to off to Coyote Yurt we go. Our time in the field would last ten days. We would start by snowmobiling in and then skinning 1,500 feet to Coyote Yurt. We would stay there for a few days before leaving and heading for Tornak Hut where we'd spend the remainder of our trip. Oh! There it is. I really appreciate it. Good teamwork. Here we go. <laughs> Starting to gain a little elevation. Calling this bunk. Doing a walkthrough. Let's see what do we got here. You got some Ooh. ramen. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, it's our first day out at the hut. Today we're gonna start by doing some beacon rescue. Then do a little bit of snow pits. And then hopefully go for a ski tour. Cam and I are leaders of the day. It's gonna be a nice stormy day. We used our first day in the field to do skills training. Ben and Doug demoed a beacon rescue for us, and afterwards they demoed a snow pit. If it were not really deep snow The snow pit would help us identify our persistent weak layer, which we'd be dealing with throughout the trip, the 1219 layer. Our day would usually go as follows. Go ski touring in the morning, come back in the afternoon and do the camp chores. Dry out all our stuff. drying games begin. Oh, they are. Cook dinner. Eat it around the table with the expedition mates, and then have an evening meeting. That's amazing. 
All right, today we're actually gonna go for our first ski tour. Yes, sir. Very hyped, and we have quite the plan. Calling it the Foxy Mama Circuit. We're hitting Kit Fox, Fox Peak, Fox Flat, and then doing them all again in a big loop. Well, we're hoping to. We'll see how far we get. Awesome. Sweet. Yep. You got me, Alex? Got you, dog. Got you right here. Hell Good yeah. Good stuff. If you go ahead and just wait about there. Will do. Dude. Oh, yeah. Celebrate our first successful tour. Then some of this. Some good old apple crisp. Oh, yeah, dude. Today was our first real day on snow, and the high energy and vibe of this team has already become well defined. We work together, we know how to laugh, we know how to treat each other well, and most importantly, we know how to piss each other off when someone looks like they're having too much fun. We aren't just a team or class, we are truly friends. Um, with that, I can't help but be excited for what the rest of this trip has to offer. Nose goes. Oh, that's that dogs. Was, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Uh, All right, it's about 7.30, and this is our last morning at Coyote Yurt. We are packing up, and we're going to move to Tornak Hut about three miles away. And this is a nice goodbye for Coyote Yurt right here. All right, goodbye Coyote. Yeah, On to the next. Welcome to Tornak. Yeah, what do we think, boys? Uh, privy a little bit closer to the hut this time? I smell the shit Not having to shovel bed. too far with a big storm coming in. Loving it. You know what I think about that, right? You don't want to know what really is up. Fair enough. If I took four pickles and put them inside of one thing, I'd have five reasons to give you a snowball and then find a GoPro and the reason why there's no one fucking hut. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Careful. Oh, you guys are fucking <laughs> that. <laughs> All right. Welcome to 
the Torak Hut. Here we have dessert happening. We're mixing up the PB making. right now. We're making some beautiful powerhouse cookies. Ooh. Mixing this oil. It's been sitting for a couple days. There's a lot of other shit going on here too. You should check it out. Hell uh, yeah, I might just do that. Oh my god, dude, no way. If I found one way to stick left, right, up, and down, I'd realize that there was no dragon sitting in the back of my house. But in reality, you're breathing the fire faster than anyone's ever seen me go to the speed of light. You know what I mean? You know, I actually don't, but we'll take that for now. What are we talking about here, boys? We're talking, trying to get a plan together for tomorrow. Hell yeah. And then back here in the darkness is where we all sleep and dry things. Alright, first tour on Tornak. How are we feeling, Alex? Dude, feeling like a minty spearmint just got dropped off the side of the cliff. What he said. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Sweet. All right, I'm gonna put it back down there. Cooking over here. Oh, just a little this, little that. Let me just get a flip going for you. Whoa! Oh, nice. These are a soft, just, they're almost ready. They're gonna get mixed in with the hash browns, melt the cheese, scrambled eggs. We're getting there, buddy. We're getting there. Looks freaking good. You wanna take it? Do it. so unique was the way we were able to weave learning into the day. When we talked about wanting to learn more advanced rescue skills, Steve sprung a surprise rescue drill on us in the middle of a tour. This forced us to think on our feet and use the resources we had in just our backpacks try and get Steve down the mountain. All right, we're heading out. Last day in the woods. Alex, you psyched? Apparently not. <laughs> Got a lot of low angle, half skiing, half walking to go.
feet. One more. It's always a little sad when an expedition concludes. But part of what made this expedition special is that we left with skills that we would use far beyond this expedition. We left this trip being more prepared for our future expeditions, more professional, more skilled, more ready to take on the ski tours we dreamed about. <laughs>